Hello everybody, welcome back to The Beer Crony. My name's Chris and then today we're going to be having a look at a beer from Audi. So when I say hello everybody, I've got a whole five subscribers now. Uh, so this one for you, for you five and anybody else that decides to watch without subscribing, that's your choice. So yes, we are off to Audi to have a look at this beer. It's called Beer Millisemi. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's a French styled lager, a premium French lager, dry hot, so I'm hoping it's got a nice bitter end on it, being that it's dry hot. And picked this up in Audi yesterday for two ninety nine, and I reckon it's it's going to be down the forms of a continental style lager, definitely going to be a lager style. Um, but I'm fairly sure, without even trying it, opening it, smelling it, it's probably still going to be better than your run of the mills, Fosters, Carlins, Stella Artois, etc. Um, pretty much guarantee that really that it's going to be better than all of those. I really don't understand why people buy those lagers, but I suppose taste is subjective and if that's what people enjoy, that's what they enjoy. So anyway, like I've said, um, well I haven't said, it comes in a 750ml bottle. That's large, isn't it? Nice big 750ml bottle, lovely matte black finish. And we've got a cork in the top as well. Nice cork and a little cage around the cork to hold it in. Can't imagine that's going to pop when I undo the cage around the outside. So as it says on the back, a premium dry hopped French beer brewed using only premium ingredients. This method gives the beer a refreshing, clean and dry flavour. Uh, I do like dry lagers, so let's see. Let's hope that is the case. So let's not mess about. Let's open it up. Let's get it in a glass. See how she looks and see how she smells. Oh. There we go, it's the cage off. Let's pop it open, I'll put it up so close so you can hear the pop if it does. Probably only gonna, not gonna be a huge pop, but it'll be one. Oh, there we go. Nice bit of smoky stuff. That was quite a good pop, wasn't it? Not quite champagne-like, but a good pop. So let's get it in the glass, because it's a 750 ml bottle. I'm just gonna get it in a pint glass today, so I should have some left, in, well, we'll have some left in the bottle. You can hear the glugs. Lots of carbonation going on already. You can really see that carbonation going on, can't you? Look at that. Fury of carbonation going on there. In she goes. Let's get all the way up to the top. Look at that. Oh, I can smell that. Already I can smell that. My nose hasn't gone anywhere near it yet. Loads of carbonation rush going on there. Uh, one finger head, quite frothy. It's hanging around, which is nice. Nice golden colour. But yeah, loads of carbonation going on. Loads. Anyway, let's have a sniff. Let's see how she smells. Mmm. Did I tell you how much it cost for that 750ml bottle? Don't think I did, did I? It's two ninety nine, two ninety nine for a seven hundred and fifty mil bottle. This is why I don't understand why people buy things like Stella and Carlin and Fosters, um, because you can buy good, good beer at a low cost, and that already smells better than the likes of Carlin, Fosters, etc. Straight away, it smells better. Why you need to drink that stuff is beyond me. Really, really nice smell. Quite an earthy smell to it. Few sort of florally notes. It almost smells dry, that'd be the, the hoppy dry hop smell. Yeah, a bit earthy, a bit florally. Definitely hoppy. Anyway, enough about smells. Let's dive in, see how she goes. That smell good. Hmm. Let's try again. Whoa, excuse me. Yeah, loads of carbonation in the mouth. Um, it's quite gassy. Lots of carbonation in the mouth really pushes the beer around your mouth, across the palate. Um, slight bit of sweetness. 
um, but definitely dry on the back end. Nice and dry on the back end. It's not super dry, but it's there, a bit dry on the back end. Uh, it, it tastes like how it smells. It's quite earthy, uh, definitely hoppy. A few floral notes in there. Um, but yeah, nice mouthfeel. It definitely gets all around your mouth. It's definitely got that lager type feel to it. Definitely a lager. Um, I think it's trying to aim itself at being in the realms of the continental styled lagers. Uh, it does say it's a French lager or a French beer, but yeah, it's certainly a continental style lager. Uh, certainly better than, as I said, it would be better than Foster's, Carlin, etc. Um, I can feel some more gas coming back, I'm trying to hold that one in. But yeah, it's good tasting, good tasting beer. Remember, it's two ninety nine. It's two ninety nine for a seven hundred and fifty ml bottle, but it is way better than your run of the mill commercial stuff. <laughs> oh, I told you it was coming. Sorry. Um, it's just a continental style lager, just on the, the you know the lower end of quality, um, but still a good beer, still a good lager. Uh, gonna be nice on a summer's day or any day really. Um, it's nice. Great aroma to it. It's definitely got the lagery sort of aroma, but not chemically like some of the cheap run-of-the-mill mass-produced crap. It smells good, earthy, a bit florally, and it tastes the same. You know, you can pick out the, the sort of florally notes in there, a bit of the earthiness going on in there. Um, and I dare say with a slight bit of, a bit of pepper, 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 spit your words out, the pepperiness on the back as well. In fact, the peppery stuff has come through more since I've not taken a mouthful. So let's, let's go again. Yeah, it's nice. It's clean. Um, whilst it's dry hopped, it has got a bit of sweetness to it, um, which I'm not massively keen on, the, the sweetness side of it. Uh, but it is aiming itself at just being a readily drinkable lager at a fairly decent price and definitely way better than the run of the mill commercial crap without a shadow of a doubt. But I buy it again, I probably wouldn't. Uh, I'm not saying it's bad, but it's, I just wouldn't buy it again. It's a bit too carbonated for my liking, a bit too gassy, but not bad at 2 dollars for 750ml bottle, 6% uh, ABV as I've mentioned. But yeah, the carbonation is still going bilio in there. You know, it's keeping ahead because of how much the, the carbonation is going on. But it's the price point. You've got to remember this is 2 dollars for 750 mils. Uh, but like I've said it a million times, it's still way better than the commercial crap that's out there. So would I recommend it? Yeah, I would really. If you're trying to get off the things like the Carlins and the Fosters and all that nasty crap, good place to start to start getting you understanding that there are better beers out there for similar sort of money so recommending it wise yeah i'd recommend it if you're you know just starting out with trying out different beers trying to get away from the the readily mass-produced nonsense that's out there it's a good start good place to start yeah it's a good beer i, I wouldn't buy it again it's not it's not particularly for me uh, i will finish it that's for sure definitely finish it uh, it's all right not bad but remember it's 2.99 so I don't expect it to set the world alight, but it's definitely oh, itchy face. It's definitely better than, like I say, the, the the usual shit that's out there. So would I have it again? No. Would I recommend it? Yes. If you're trying to get away from the usual run of the mill stuff, give it a try. It's all right. It's not bad. So thanks for watching. If you like the video, click like and uh, share it. If you want to share it, subscribe. If you like to subscribe, I don't mind either way. Uh, I do these videos for a bit of fun. I'm not in it to have millions and millions of subscribers and earn loads of money out of YouTube. That's not why I'm in it, just do it for a bit of fun. So there you go, that's my review. Thanks again for watching and I will see you on the next one. Take care now, bye.